It's game day here in sold out San Francisco at Levile Stadium. Both teams look primed to kill each other for our entertainment. <laughs> and I am getting visibly excited just thinking about what's to come. You know what I call your visible excitement, Grim? A San Francisco treat. Bricks, do me a favor. Don't make eye contact with me for the rest of the game. I'm a little uncomfortable now. And yeah, this is going to be a bloody game. The teams are loading their weapons and sharpening their spikes. The Grim Bay attackers battle the San Francisco 40 Nightmares. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. If the sound of a torn Achilles followed by laughter and taunting brings a smile to your face, you are tuned to the right place. Hi everyone, Grim Blitzrow and the MFL crew is coming to you live on game day. Bricks, any uh, thoughts on today's game? Um, I thought I had one, but uh, I think I might have forgotten it. Oh, I remember. Uh, I forgot who's playing today. Careful what you ask for, Grim. Hot one. That run is good for nine yards. And that'll bring up second and one. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot eight. He took a beast boost injection. Now watch him stop all over his opponents. I want to take a beast boost injection too. Oh man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. First and ten. Not much there, maybe a yard. Second down and nine. I hope you covered your ears, Brady. And he's off to the races. First and ten. Tired of the quarterback's tight spirals and magnetic personality. It's not how many times you fall, it's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. And it's first and ten. Try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. They're going to be able to return this one. First and ten. And he runs it for four yards. Second down and six. He is fighting for every yard. Well, one yard is better than nothing, but not by much.
Third down and five. The defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. I love the murder ball, Daddy Trent. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. Oh, man, Bricks, you got to love a player who goes down fighting. Quarterback threads the needle for a first down. Second down and more than the QB would like. And like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. And it's first and ten. Destruction in his path. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Right. With the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwann Galaxy phone. Brazilian season, dumbass. Actually, I think he's talking about the time warp dirty trick that the defense just played. Still a dumbass, though. Second down and a lot. Oh, that was a great throw and a great catch. Yeah, but, but it was an interception. Oh, uh, yeah. And that mutant just about met his maker on that hit. I thought he was made in China. I don't see any Chinese guys down there. You're a fucking moron. Great run for a nine-yard gain. Bring up second and one. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. Third and two. Hot, hot one, hot two. Sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? And 
Giants, first and ten. And he was stuck to him like glue. Second down and ten. He refuses. It's two yard run before he stopped. Third down and eight. It's anyone's game at the end of quarter one. And it's first and ten. You know, this berserk dirty trick ain't fair gonna kill me. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. Second down and ten. sister can throw further than that but she doesn't have to play against goddamn monsters third down and eight and the defense gets another pick man rough day hey Jim, what if interceptions counted as touch no doubt about it that guy is dead he says i'm taking you with me First and ten. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Man, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. You know, they're all in politics, apparently. Geez, you give this guy a bigger pay. Oh, look at this guy break tackles. He takes off. He could go all the way. And he just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Oh, mama. Just call him Cap'n Crunch. Another one bites the dust. Two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. And it's first and ten. point attempt. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. This guy's a brick shit house. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Where?
The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. First and four. Bring up second and one. Third down and three. Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners. Then. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Freaky fast ham a sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Yeah, I'm still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. And it's first and ten. With that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, I'm going in circles. And that'll be second and eight to go. You can tell he's a berserker because he's frothing at the mouth. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. Touchdown. lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Grim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Uh, the, the funeral expenses, that is. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. You have got to be kidding me. My sister could have made that kick. They need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It, it means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. I know I've said never hit a man when he's down. He's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Yeah, this new QB, he don't even look too confident. He's bleeding with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. And it's first and ten. with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Second down and nine. He picks up eight yards on that pass. Third 
down in a sliver. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. And the offensive... Oh, man, Bricks, you gotta love a player who goes down fighting. And he's running like a moose right now. Oh, with the punishing hit. lost their final running back. Lucky for them, they're on defense now. Yeah, lucky to have survived so much bad luck, carnage, and death, Grim. And it's first and ten. Up. Up His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. The 30. And the quarterback drills one in for the first. Oh, holy smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. And it's first and ten. And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to Joyce. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the racing. Try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? And the easiest play in the league, and he chokes. Yeah, he's a choker. He's a midnight smoker. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim. But my watch is a bit slow. And he's off to the races. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast hammer sandwich with extra mustard, but it... Oh, man, he just got skewered by those spikes. That was bloody and disgusting. One in the mood for steak kebab. Make mine rare. Yeah. And the hurry up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. The receiver didn't stand a chance. The offense is losing quarterbacks faster than teams lose their minds at spring break. They're down to their last QB before they have to forfeit. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. And here comes the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked out? What do you do then? Run. So it signals a 
hurry up. Yeah, same as Britt's ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. I took it as a compliment. Yo, man, nobody can touch you an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Second down. They stumped the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries, makers of great killer products like Groundup. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. Boy, these guys are going to need to pull off a huge comeback in the second half to win this game. Here comes the kickoff. Rip the coast! Why do we even come back and bother? This is a waste of my time! Yeah, if only one team is going to show up, why should we have to? The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Second down and a lot. And the defense jumps on sides, trying to mutilate him. Now the QB has to try to run out of bounds before they get to him. Needless to say, with seven crazed defenders coming after him, that's not easy. Ah, the old quarterback shellac play. Yeah. 40 nightmares win by forfeit. Heard the expression left it all on the field? Well, they left the other team's bodies on the field. There's not much left of the opposition, and the fans are loving it. There was only one way this game was going to end, and that was in a forfeit. That's not quite true, Grim. The alien spacecraft could have crashed into the stadium and ended the game. Oh, how about it? How about if you shut the hell up right now and we go down to the field and listen to what the MVP has to say? Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.